Hi cuties, Wendy here. Today we're going to draw my draw so cute visco girl. So let's get started. To draw this visco girl, we're going to first start by drawing her face. So I'm going to come right here and basically draw the bottom of a U. So we're going to come right across, about right there, and connect it with a curve at the bottom. There. So it's the basic shape you're aiming to draw. So let's come back to where you started on the edge right here. We're going to draw a circle for the eyes. So same thing on the other side. And then let's come in here and make them draw so cute eyes. So I'm going to come in here with two small circles for highlights and a curved line at the bottom and shade in the top. So thank you for all the requests to draw a visco girl and hopefully I've done right and drawn all the characteristics that makes her a, a visco girl. <laughs> so right here I did some research <laughs> and curve. And lines at the bottom. Okay, so then let's come up here and we're going to give her some lashes. So I'm just going to curve out two simple curves right here on the edge. And then let's um, give her a smile. So right here in the center, about right here. And cap it off. And then let's come um, to the top right here and give her a brow. So about right here. Just a soft curve above her eye. And I'm just going to come in here and thicken it up. Okay. So now let's imagine this as an oval. So let's bring this up a little bit more so we can finish the rest of her face. And so about right here, I'm just going to give myself a point right in the center. From here, I'm just going to go up because her hair is swept up in a bun. So I'm just going to go up and connect. There. So then now let's come back to where her eyes are in this area. Let's draw her ears. So it's just going to curve. Then we're going to come in here with some details. And same thing on this side. So right where her eyes are. And so then now we can go ahead and draw her hair. So come right here above her ear. And we're just going to go up. So we're going to start to draw her bun. Uh, so let's bring this up a little bit more, say about about right there. I'm going to start to draw the scrunchie that holds up her bun. So I'm going to come about right here. Just draw a curve on both sides and I'm going to wiggle my way across for a scrunchie. there. <laughs> as long as it looks like kind of right. Come in here with some details. And then now the bun. So above this scrunchie, let's go up and I'm just going to wobble a messy bun. So maybe another wobble right there. And you come in with some details. Maybe just some lines. there. Okay, so then now let's come back to right here and we're going to um, draw some curves in the hair so it doesn't look so stiff. So it looks like her hair is tied up in a bun. And 
And let's see here. And you can come in here, give her some loose strands under her ear, very lightly. And same thing over here, maybe. If you like, you can even have some loose strands here. <laughs> it's supposed to be a messy bun, right? Okay, so something like that. Now um, that we're done with that, let's draw her outfit. So right in the center, we're going to give her a neck. And let's bring down her shoulders. There. Now she's wearing an oversized t-shirt. So I'm going to come right here first. Draw a curve. And add another curve for the collar. And I'm going to come pretty low down. So I'm just going to give myself a point, say about right here and right here, right underneath, kind of where her sh um, armpits would be, but lower. And so then let's bring from this point, let's come down a slight angle line to draw her shirt. But before we finish that, let's come back right at this point and we're going to draw a strap right here for her backpack. And same thing over here. And then now let's continue this shirt all the way down. It's all about wearing an oversized shirt, right? So uh, before we finish, let's come back to the sleeve. So it's going to be a really long sleeve as well. And about right there, I'm going to bring it in. So same thing over here. Okay, so we've got the sleeves in and come in here and give it a little collar as well. And now let's go ahead and finish the shirt. So I'm just going to bring it down a little bit more and about right there, I'm going to go ahead and draw a slight wave to finish it off. There. Okay, now her legs are just going to pop right out of the shirt. So right here in the center, I'm going to draw two angle lines, slight angle lines. And I'm going to get thinner as I go down. So same thing over here. And let's bring this down more. So we're going to get a little bit straighter as we come down for her ankle area. And now let's flare this out. So I'm going to come out a little bit. And so this is going to be a little bit wider because I'm making her wear Birkin, oh yeah, Birkenstocks, right? <laughs> so I'm going to widen it out. So it looks kind of weird right now. And we're going to round it off and connect. So let's come in here and give the details to this Birkenstock. So let's come first, come right here at the bottom, give it a little edge, follow that line and then go up. And we're going to draw one strap, continue and another strap. And just finish it off. So it's just an indication and then a little curve right there for her toes. And you can draw a little buckle here. You'll have uh, room for some details. And since I'm here, before I forget, I'm going to give her a little ankle bracelet. Okay, so same thing over here. So once again, wide. It's always harder for me on this side. <laughs> okay, so once again, the bottom, come in, a curve, and come in again, and another curve, and just tuck it in. And then toes, and a buckle right here if you like. 
And so that is pretty much it for the shoes. Okay, so then now, you know what? Let's add another bracelet right here, a little one right here to finish it off. And then now let's draw the hands. So I'm having her hands right um, next to her body. So let's come out right here, shoulders. Coming down. So I'm going to end her, give her thumb about right here where her shirt is. And let's draw her fingers. So because this finger right here, this hand is holding a hydro flask, I'm going to um, curve this finger right in under her thumb. And then in this area, we're just going to put a little strap right there and a back strap. So it looks like she's hanging on to the hydro flask. And now that this is pretty much even, let's come right here and draw the lid of our hydro flask. And then the bottle part. So come out with a curve. And nice big bottle, right? So maybe a right there will stop. And connect it. There. Okay, so now this hand. Uh, same thing, just bring it out nice and simple. Shoulder area. And before I continue with the rest of the hand, I'm going to stop right here and draw a bunch of scrunchies. So maybe three. I'm just going to indication of scrunchie. So maybe three curves and then Drawing the curves there, and then now her hand. So right here, come back with a thumb, and her fingers, there. And once again, of course, I forgot. <laughs> Let's give her a little friendship bracelets here, maybe, on this side. And um, before I forget also, let's come back right here. If you like to give her indication of her backpack, just come up here and because it's got to be a squarish backpack, right? So I'm just going to draw indication of her backpack. And I'm going to come here and draw a little heart. <laughs> Some graphics on her shirt. And let's see, what else are we missing? Oh, and then her hydro flask. Let's draw the logo. I'm going to attempt it right here. So just a little indication of the logo. It's so small. But <laughs> two, three. And of course you have to have stickers on this. So um, you put one heart sticker. Let's see. Maybe some uh, sunflowers. And some, uh, let's see here, Vans checkers. I think I've got it all right. <laughs> it's definitely a Visco girl. <laughs> so there, hope you love my Draw So Cute Visco Girl and it inspires you to draw it too. Thanks so much for watching and if you loved it, please make sure to subscribe and turn on your notification bell so you won't miss any new Jurassic Cube videos. See you later.